Hello, my name is Rodney Elliott. I'm the former mayor of the city and a current city councilor in Lowell, Massachusetts in the United States of America. This statement is in direct response to recent remarks made by Lieutenant General Hun Manette to the Lowell Sun newspaper editorial board this week regarding a statue. His comments were not only misleading, but quite frankly, a flat out lie. Over 16 months ago, I traveled to Cambodia on a mission to learn about a country that I heard so much about for so long from so many Cambodians I represent. We saw so many beautiful places and met wonderful people. But what we also saw was a country with little to no health care, no clean water, a starving people, and a repressive government who crushes those that speak out, leaders who use fear and retaliation to run its government. Unlike the citizens of Cambodia, we as Americans have the right to free speech. It's a basic inalienable human right that people all over the world are entitled to. Yet political leaders and dictators desperate for power use it as a weapon against their people, a measure of fright and intimidation. And this is true in Cambodia under the rule of Hun Sen. I heard it and I saw it while visiting the country in Cambodia. Unbeknownst to Hun Sen and his government leaders, I visited Presa prison and met with a group of women who were jailed simply for protesting against the government for the taking of their land with no recompense. Mothers, sisters, grandmothers jailed in horrible conditions. Upon learning of my visit, when I returned to the U.S., I immediately castigated by Hun Sen for speaking out against these harsh sentences. We now see members of parliament in Cambodia being beaten, arrested, and incarcerated. Even the minority leaders Sam Ramsey has been exiled from his own country. To put it into perspective, this is the equivalent of our minority leader, Nancy Pelosi, being put in exile, or members of Congress being allowed to be beaten and attacked right on the steps of the Capitol. This is the government of Hun Sen. During my visit in January of last year, I visited the camps in Thailand where the refugees fled the Khmer Rouge. I visited Tu Slang Prison, where a school where countless Cambodian citizens were tortured for their beliefs and because the government had the power to do so, and they did. I visited the killing fields and saw the face of evil. Man's inhumanity towards their fellow man. It was heartbreaking and haunting. I feel it brought me closer to the Cambodian that ride, reside in Lowell. We visit a hospital in Simriep with, where thousands of children go, walking hundreds of miles to get treatment because of contaminated water and malnutrition. We visit Sphite Park neighborhood in Phnom Penh, a place where Sex trafficking was known of young girls stolen and from their, taken from their homes. And yet, each and every day, the government allows the taking of more and more land by the Vietnamese government, which contributes to deforestation, all while the can kingdom of Cambodia does nothing to stop it. These atrocities and others against mankind take place in Cambodia and why we see daily protesters. I join all the protesters around the globe and oppose this visit to the United States. I stand with all Cambodians to expose this regime and the treatment of our fellow human mankind. I support the International Criminal Court to address crimes of the Khmer Rouge and this government. For a person like Hun Manette to visit the United States and engage the local media and an outright lie, the same way he does in Cambodia, shows a lack of understanding of the American system. He may control the press in Cambodia, but this is the United States. We, I, you can all speak out, and you can tell that his government, op they operate a deceitful government rife with corruption. Let me state what I said publicly at the council meeting two weeks ago. I never, under any circumstance, made any official or unofficial request for a statue from the government of Cambodia. The people of Lowell made it abundantly clear before we left to embark on our journey. I would challenge Hun Manette to produce any official government, written or electronic, that backs his claim. This will never happen. No document exists. No request was ever made. Never was there a mention of having the government of Cambodia donate a statue. That would be an affront to many of our Cambodian friends and citizens and residents here. What Hun Manette said to the Lowell Sun was a complete fabrication and an attempt to manipulate the American media due to the large-scale protests that have erupted in Lowell and Long Beach, California because of his visit and his treatment of their families. I would challenge my Cambodian friends and those abroad, take this opportunity, raise the money for this statue, and view it as a direct defiance to the current Hun Sen regime in the treatment of humankind. You have the power. Use it. Thank you very much.